All right, I'm going to show you how to make this animation, the bouncing basketball, and how we got to that. I'm just going to show you, uh, actually, I'm going to show you the frames. This animation is how many frames? It is 14 frames long. So it's not that many frames to create a loop of a bouncing basketball. I'm using the um, bracket keys, which are down by the letter M, to advance one frame time. So you can see every frame of my animation. So I'm going to pause it for you. So the first one, I move the hand and the ball down a little bit, and you can see the overlap. And to see that overlap, by the way, it's called onion skinning. You can turn on onion skin right here, and you can see how far ahead and behind you can see uh, into the future or behind what you just did. Okay, then I'm going to hit the next one with the, I'm using the forward and back uh, brackets. I move down a little bit more. Then it's getting a little bit further. If you zoom in, I'm going to use the plus and minus to zoom in here so you can see in detail what I'm doing. By the way, plus and minus, or you can use the roll bar on your uh, on your mouse, the, the, the center roll. That is a new feature of Pivot that I love. Okay, so I'm going to keep moving. Now it's going a little further. As the ball picks up speed, it's going to move farther to look faster. It's going to look more natural. If it's all exactly the same distance, it's going to look robotic. Okay? See, that one jumped even further. It's almost half the length of the ball. And then it hits the ground. Now, the next one, you'll see. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but my hand is starting to come back up. It's like you bounce the ball, and as the ball is hitting the ground, your hand is starting to come back up to catch the ball again. So I'm thinking about all that when I'm animating. Now... The ball bounces up. It just goes a little bit the first time, but the second time, see, it's a big jump because the ball comes back up faster when you bounce it, right? So to make it look real, that's the trick. You see, it just it's going faster, faster. It catches the hand. The hand goes up a little bit with the ball to kind of hold the pre take the pressure off the ball, and then it holds it, and then it throws it back down at the very beginning of the animation, and we have a pretty nice looking loop. And that's it. Um, if you want to find out more, I just I did this so that you could have a very quick version of how to animate the bouncing basketball. Um, you want to watch the full version. There's a full length version of this same tutorial that goes at every step of me animating it. But this is kind of the final product. So enjoy and get to animating. Show me what you've done.